Hello, my name is Irini Wasif. I'm a servant with ECCYC, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about what ECCYC is. Um, it stands for East Coast Coptic Youth Committee. Uh, it's an organization that was started 26 years ago in 1999. The retreat started 26 years ago, but the planning was a vision from His Grace Amba Musa that he shared with uh, three priests that were in the area at the time, Abuna Antonios Makarios, Abuna Dawood Babawi, and Abuna Athanasios Farag. And it was through um, his, his uh, Grace's prayers and all of their, their work together um, involving Mr. Emil Ichnouk that the first retreat came together, joining all of the, the churches in the area. It was a very small community back then, and it was an opportunity for the youth and the priests and the servants to all get together in one large retreat. And this vision of community keeps on continuing. 26 years later, these youth are from all different churches, from Delaware all the way up to New Hampshire, and they're joining each other in a Bible contest, working together to learn and grow spiritually and fostering a community among all the different Coptic churches. I'm here today with Tosoni Mora Soriel from St. Anianus Church in Princeton, New Jersey. Um, she was a speaker on the high school girls uh, retreat, and I just have a few questions for you. Sure. Um, first of all, I know that you um, have a long history with ECCYC and I was hoping you could share a couple memories of some of the times that you've had. Oh, sure. I remember being in all different buildings we moved around in and just surrounded by the bishops and having Emba Tomes, you know, group us together and sing songs with us and uh, do hand moves and just, uh, just the spirit of like just fun and joy. Uh, I remember playing soccer with Emba Tomes and then having him, you know, in any given moment sit and contemplate like a blade of grass or like an ant crawling up that blade of grass and just that deep spiritual, you know, um, sort of me meditative way of just kind of having access to that. And then yet they would play and sing with us and just have fun. Um, Lots of great memories. I remember just meeting lots of different girls and mm -hmm. that excitement at nighttime of just being up together and uh, you know moving our our beds close together and getting uh, one big sleepover going on. Uh, yeah, just so many beautiful uh, memories. I, I really uh, I really miss. And that's the beauty about having this community. The girls come here, the high school boys come here, the college come here, and they bond together, and they learn, and they grow spiritually, and they play in all of these different sports and activities. They get to spend time with the priests and one-on-one -on -one time with um, their servants and stay up late and ask all the questions that they have that maybe they don't get a chance to have these conversations during the year. And um, I mean, there's sports and there's um, skits and there's nighttime activities and there's fun. And I mean, I, myself, I remember when a Thomas, before he was a priest, coming and speaking with us and spending all this time um, sharing and playing salata. And even now he comes every year and he plays, salata has become like a timeless uh, activity. And um, it's, it's just a way for the, the youth to spend time together and grow and um, unite. And these relationships continue. They become lifelong friendships. People work together in the future. They keep um, track of each other and they, and they take care of their brothers, they become their brother's keeper, and this fosters um, a bond that lasts for, for years to come. There's so many memories I could share about my time at ECYC. Uh, I remember vividly being in certain lecture halls after you know a talk was over, and Emba Musa would sit around with us and, and sing songs with us and show us you know the hand moves and just having a really joyful um, spirit among uh, so even for those of us who were sitting together and didn't know each other, he just had such a, he's, he's such a jolly, joyful, um, loving person. And, and just having that example growing up was really, really special. And having Emma Tomas to play uh, soccer sometimes with us, I remember, and, and just teach us how to contemplate, whether it was looking at a blade of grass or looking at an ant climbing a blade of grass and just 
you know, meditating and thinking about like spiritually, like what we could learn from it. It was always something to be learned being around uh, the bishops. That was always, always very special. And of course, being around girls from all different churches was also just exciting, you know, getting to know new people and see what we had in common and stay up late at night and, and share stories and experiences. Um, those are definitely memories I, I hold on to and I, I think I'll always, I, I'll always remember them. Probably one of my favorite stories from um, the actually high school girls ECCYC was about um, maybe seven years ago or so. There was um, there was a curfew where all the girls had to be light out by I think two o'clock in the morning, and they'd gone and had all their activities and games, and everyone went into their rooms about twelve, and and some of the girls wanted to stay up and chat and tell stories and have fun and. Um, Around two o'clock, um, I went around to make sure that all of the girls were, you know, lights out and, and getting ready to sleep. And um, I walked to one of the rooms, and the girls were um, making a lot of noise, and the lights were on. And so I knocked on the door, and all of a sudden the lights went out, and it got really quiet. So I said, "Okay, fine. You know, I know, I know, girls, that you're in here, and I know that you're making." Um, you're making noise, I know you're awake. Um, so I knocked on the door again and they slowly opened it and they said, who is it? And, um, and I said it was Irene. And they grabbed my arm and they pulled me into the room and closed the door and um, it was maybe, I think, 11 girls sitting in the room and um, they were shaking. And I said, what's wrong? And they said, well, we were telling all of these stories about the saints and then when we were telling the stories about the apparitions and people in our family that have seen St. Mary and some of the other saints, then you knocked on the door. So we thought that the saint was on the other side of the door trying to come inside. And uh, so we got, we got scared and we turned off all the lights because um, we thought you were one of the saints. So we laughed about it and we told some more stories and um, eventually sleep. But it was just, it was such a cute day because um, these girls, you know, took like all of the things that, that happened to them and they shared their experiences with each other and um, I mean they were, they were just amazing, amazing girls to just sit with and talk to and, and listen to their stories and um, I think it's, it's one of my favorite memories. Well the buildings are uh, definitely much nicer, this is definitely less of the ascetic uh, feeling that we had in some of the other buildings that we were in like Mount St. Alphonsus, okay. if I'm really dating back, uh, Rosemont and others where sometimes there wasn't even air conditioning but these the buildings are much be uh, beautiful, uh, very comfortable. Um, I feel like the girls are really purposefully here to um, to get something, to yeah. learn, to really challenge and inquire and grow in their faith. Mm -hmm. um, not just so, not just to socialize, um, which is also important and have the fellowship, but really like they're seeking something, mm -hmm. and so hopefully that's something they can own, and that we could see them be regular, you know, parts of of, of this ministry. I think as the church uh, in you know the states continues to grow and and evolve in some ways in terms of you know the number of families and the different kinds of uh, com you know communities that are coming together, uh, I, I hope that ECCYC will grow and and sort of develop itself even more locally so that it's not this once you know, once a year type of a thing, but people mm -hmm. would really like, you know, adopt the concepts of, you know, growing and fellowshipping and, 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 and inviting speakers and bringing churches together. And we need to have more interconnectedness between the churches. So I would love to see more mm -hmm. sort of mini ECCYCs in localized areas uh, in the Northeast and maybe even beyond. So mm -hmm. there's still that, that contact that we're having across churches uh, for dialogue, for fellowship, but to, to, to leave it to be this once a year event um, I feel like without the appropriate or necessary follow-up throughout the year, something sort of fizzles. So I think yeah. to keep it alive in the life of the church would be great to have some, uh, some of these young ones take on uh, a little bit of more active year-long uh, you know, promotions of, of ECYC retreats all over. Thank you so much for listening to all these little stories and um, watching this program. Um, Irini Wasif, and I hope to see you next year in ECCYC. Have a great day.